cheetah plains very kindly helped me so we're just standing at the moment on juma we're on cheetah cut line if she's coming down towards the pan and i just hope that she comes this way i'm just trying to see if I, there she goes you see her coming just past these quarries she's just gonna pop out over there now i've never seen her before this is so cool what a beautiful cat now they say it's tandy but i have absolutely no idea what tandy even looks like yeah yeah sorry about that there's a branch under that car has been doing lots of off-roading as you can see so i'm just trying to figure out i mean you're gonna you all have to help me and help me confirm if it is indeed tandy or not she needs to cross onto our property please girl come this way come this side and then hopefully we'll get another view of her we're just going to have to pay patient. I'm not going too far. As you can see, we've parked right out of the way. We've got a camera we can zoom in. There are already three vehicles here. It is a boundary, so you are allowed to have four cars. However, I don't like to put any pressure on the cats. I don't think it's necessary. We're lucky we see lots and lots of cats on a regular basis. So as soon as she crosses onto our property, it'll be great because we'll basically have it all to ourselves. I think Mike will maybe come and join us, maybe one other car. But they're all, everyone seems to be quite far away um, down in the, the, in the eastern corner, not the eastern corner, in the northern corner, looking for lions. So we just have to wait for her. But if you can, hashtag Safari Live, if you can confirm that that brief view that we had is Tandy. And we quite now are very nervous. Crested Franklin just ran across the road. I think what's happening now is I think that she is in fact having a drink. Okay, here's another Crested Franklin. Also quite nervous. Obviously they know that there's a leopard around here. No, we're gonna lose her. She's just disappearing around here. Let's see if we can get a view. Thanks, Mike. I somehow managed to copy that. I don't know, my radio's on scan. Copy, thank you. Just wanna have a look to see if we're gonna go in here because it turns into Little Gowrie and unfortunately we can't drive onto Little Gowrie. Um, just gonna follow her from the road and just figure out where she's going. There she is. Thanks guys, I'm just going to hang back on the boundary and, and uh, see where she goes. So she's just coming through the trees now. Um, Megan, any confirmation yet? Perfect. Kyle, you've said that it, you think it is Tundi. Well, that's really good if it is. I'll be so happy about that. Now, it looks like she's maybe on the lookout for something. Can you see that? She's looking, she's searching for all sorts of creatures. I don't know where Tamba is or where he's been. Ah, thank you, James. You have indeed confirmed that it is Tandy. Wonderful, my first sighting of her. Woohoo, so much like with the leopards. It's really great now. You're gonna have to take lots and lots of pictures for me. Let me get up ahead again and find the next gap. I take lots of screenshots, of course, so I can have a look at them. Remember to hashtag Safari Live. There she goes. Maybe she comes through here. I can't see her. I'm really hoping she just keeps keep coming north. Keep coming north. Now, of course, we can't control the movements of where these animals are going to go. We just got to hope that they come to the right spot. So we're just going to keep finding little gaps and things like that. She's still making her way through. I want to see if I can spot her spots. It's a bit thick. Let me see if we can't get another gap. through here let's just have a look she's just coming through there somewhere I've lost her now but we should be able to hopefully spot her again no has she gone further ahead already I think oh no here she comes there she is just walking through that gap can you see her there we go now I know it's not the greatest view just yet but she's coming closer and closer towards Gary Main. She will get there eventually. Like I said, we just want to give her room. Hello, hello, hey, Ari. Good, thanks and yourself. Morning, everyone. There you go, just saying good morning to Ari and his guests, who I'm sure are smiling from where they were. I just saw white teeth as uh, they drove past me. They're very happy that they got to start their morning off with a leopard. So we'll just let her keep coming this way. Come on, girl. She might go down and into the Mulwati. We're not too far away from there. 
So we'll see what she gets up to. Where's she gone now? She stopped. I think we'll stay in this spot because there is another little gap and, and that's what we rely on. <laughs> We are relying on. I couldn't even get the word relying on. Yeah, the bird's starting to shout now and alarm. There she goes. Just saw her tail. She's just, you should see her coming from the left hand side of your screen. There she is. How cool is this? She's looking for something, definitely. Now, this is also, again, a great area. We've been chatting quite a bit about it through the last few weeks now. How as winter comes about, all the animals start to move down to the greener areas, and that's of course around the drainage line. So her chances have now increased a whole bunch more for her if she comes down here, if she goes into there. There's lots of birds shouting though. It sounds like there's some green wood hoopoos. They're not very happy about her and they're giving away her presents. We're going to try and stick with Tanti now. Hopefully she comes across. Let's go across to Ali, who's having so much luck with the hyenas.